All right, in a uh, previous video, I repaired some DVMs. I actually started with six. I ended up with three. So I had uh, three other DVMs that uh, just didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't make it. So I wanted to salvage some parts out of them. And uh, so I wanted to show you one little project I did with the parts that uh, I salvaged out of one of, the, uh, one of these DVMs. Uh, so let's take a look at that. All right, uh, so I, I saved some uh, really nice resistors. So in the old DVMs, they weren't software calibrated, they were hardware calibrated. And calibrating for every single range would have been expensive. So what they did was they calibrated for one range and then they multiplied that up for all other ranges. Or maybe they had two ranges or three ranges, but not all ranges. Um, so here are some precision resistors that allow you to use the calibrations maybe at a lower voltage, at a higher voltage. And so uh, these, are, these are pretty common. These are catech, uh, they're a thin film on, sub, on a uh, ceramic substrate. So these are real accurate. And then uh, these are some film resistors that are super accurate too. I think these are 0.1%. I'm not sure what the, what the percentage is on this. And then we've got this one really, really odd resistor here that I decided to save. And uh, we'll take a look at him. Uh, a little bit later, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's measure these and see uh, see how good they are. <laughs> measure them against my read. I think my meter is good, so give them a, give them a shot. Okay, so we're going to measure these guys, and uh, we're going to be using the meter up at the top here, and I'm going to be using my four wire cable, so I have Kelvin contacts to everybody. So let's start up here at the top. This one's supposed to be nine point nine meg. 9.9 meg. There we go. 9.899. This one is supposed to be 90k. 9999. Very good. This one is supposed to be 10k. Look at that. 10.0007. This one's supposed to be 500 ohms. Uh, no, 900 ohms. I'm sorry. 900 ohms. So 9000, very good. 90 ohms. Yeah, a little bit off. 8995. Here's 9 ohms. 9.003. And here is 1 ohm. 1.005. There we go. And then the 1 that's real funny, and we'll talk about it. It takes me a second here to get the clip reads, clip leads right on it. And uh, yeah, there we go. 0.102 ohms. All right. All right. So we're measuring these resistors, and I have a four-wire measurement. So I have a, uh, I have some resistor here. And I put my clip lead on it, and my clip lead grabs one side and the other side, and those two wires go back to the uh, to the voltmeter or the uh, ohm ohmage meter, and then I have another one on this side. So one of these wires uh, sources current. So maybe let's say this wire is sourcing current, and it comes out over here, so the current goes through here, and then these two wires measure the voltage at these two points. And that's the way that it measures um, resistance. Now, that funny resistor that we just took to it up at the end there. Let's take a little, take a little bit closer look at it again. Okay, it is. Let me take these wires. I'll leave the wires on just for now. You can see that uh, it's one, two loops of wire that attaches here and here. This solder here and here. So it's one, two loops of wire, and then um, I have clip leads here, but the clip leads aren't onto a single wire. They're actually onto two different posts. There's two posts on this side and two posts on this side. So let me draw a picture. It'll make more sense. Okay, so that wire, there's, there's, there's two turns of wire, okay? So this is exactly 0.1 ohms. Okay, this loop of wire. Now, uh, in the circuit that they had inside the voltmeter, they knew they wanted to make Kelvin contact with this as well. So what they did was they attached two wires to each side. 
okay? And they said, this will be the contact for the Kelvin. We will force current, and then we'll measure the two voltages, okay? And so there's actually two wires on this side and two wires on this side that make that resistor. And so it's a Kelvin contact, a four-wire resistor. Um, that's for that 0.1 ohm there. Now, why the funny values? Why nines and ones? Well, that's because if you put... Um, you put 1k and 9k you'll have a good you'll have a good divider okay you'll have one tenth um, in this particular situation so that's why they're all all these values so they do have a 1 ohm and then a 9 90 900 and then they start over with a different range which is a 10k and a 90k and then a 9.9 .9 meg so they have um, several ranges here that they're using and then this is that funny funny resistor over here that's got uh, one wire going that way and one wire going that way and those are the source and sense and one wire going that way and one wire going that way those are the source and sense and then I brought them out there's just two pins on this side and two pins on this side so I can take my uh, I can take my test lead and I can just put it on like that on one makes contact to one and one makes contact to the other okay uh, just a quick video for uh, Something you might want to do with an old voltmeter that you don't need anymore. Salvage some parts of it. Maybe make one of these. Um, I like. I have. I have several of these that I've made, and uh, I like using them for different purposes. Some are better than others. So I have some that are much more accurate than this one, and I might use that one for real critical applications. And then maybe if I'm measuring something that I. I'm a little nervous about bringing out my good standards. I might want to use maybe a secondary standard like this one. Um, and then I won't worry if, uh, if I actually destroy it or something. Um, but yeah, nice little thing to have in your shop.